Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got to get ready with me for y'all today and it's on this look right here. So it's a really kind of like fun, different, slightly colorful sort of look. I really like how it came together. I was really wanting to use this quad and several of you guys said that you'd like to see it in a look. So I used it today. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palette and this is in 116 Haute Hazel. So I do have this on my eyes today, but then I had to add in a little bit of glitter. So I use a little bit of glitter. You don't have to do that. You could just use the quad, but I was feeling a little bit of sparkle today. So I added some glitter in. So we use this and then I also use some other new goodies, um, either that I've been sent or that I purchased myself. So yeah, just kind of playing around with some makeup today and getting ready together. So let's get to the look. Okay, so I've already applied some moisturizer. So now I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Blemishless and just apply that all over my face, concentrating in my T-zone. I really like this primer. Like I feel like it does a great job of helping my makeup stay on, but you know, it's supposed to be like blemishless, so it's help, supposed to help with that too. And I like it. I just feel like it helps mattify without over drying my skin. For foundation today, I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I have it in Y225 and I'm applying it with my Delium Tools 957. It's like a little small kabuki buffer, whatever, whatever. Flat top kabuki, that's what it is. And I really, really like it. And I like this foundation too. I can mainly wear this like in the fall and winter time because in the summer, um, I get a little bit too oily with it, but during the fall and winter time, I really like it. For brows, I'm going to use the same stuff I always do, so I'll just link my brow routine for you guys, like in a card or something, and go ahead and skip past this part. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some eyeshadow primer. Today I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I love this primer, it's inexpensive, and I feel like it works just as well as high-end ones. For eyes, I'm actually gonna go ahead and start with this Merle Norman Contour and Highlight Duo, and I'm gonna get some of the lightest shade, and this is just kind of like a no-name. This might be Eco Tools. I don't know what this is, it's something from the drugstore. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid, kind of as a base. Then I'm going to take a darker color on a Cosette D220 brush and apply that right into my crease and transition area. This is a quad that I really wanted to do a look with. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palette in Haute Hazel. So I'm going to get some of this color right here on a Wet n Wild Small concealer brush, that's what this is. Yes, small concealer brush. And I'm going to just apply that all over kind of like the inner half of my lid. Not going all the way over into my outer corner, but just kind of mainly the inner half of my lid. I really like that color. It's very warm toned and just kind of a little bit different. I like that a lot. So now I'm going to get a little bit of this kind of turquoisey shade right here and I'm going to apply that into my outer third. I'm just kind of blend that over into that other shade. feeling about that but hopefully as we kind of add more and kind of get the look all coming together hopefully it all will work together so now I'm gonna get this kind of darker turquoise shade on I'm using um, this is a beauty 360 brush from uh, CVS and I'm just applying that into my outer corner kind of the same place but not going over quite as far I want this to look more turquoisey well not like bright turquoise, but you know, like that darker peacocky kind of color um, and less kind of muddy, you know? So hopefully this will kind of like help with that. I 
go in with a little bit more of my crease shade just to kind of blend. And then I'm going to go back in with that lid shade and apply that a little bit more. And I'm going to kind of like soften this line of blending in the middle of my lid. Well, apparently I scratched my neck and irritated it, so I'm going to put a little bit of foundation over that to cover that up. Who knows? <laughs> now you could totally leave it just like this, but I want to add a little bit of sparkle just for fun. So I'm going to use this Inglot Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in 115, and I'm going to wet my brush with MAC Fix Plus and apply just a little bit of this on kind of the inner fourth, third of my eyelid, something like that, just for a little bit of sparkle. I'm actually going over a little bit because I think it's kind of helping blend that a little bit, that line in between the two colors. So I'm going a little bit farther over than I originally planned. Kind of have glitter all over my face, so I'm doing a little bit of cleanup with my foundation brush. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use that same warm tone shade, and I'm going to apply that with my Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush. I really like this brush. I like all the Luxie brushes I've tried. They just really seem to work well, and they are soft and cute. I'm actually not going to apply any liner today. I just kind of want to keep it light and bright. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Superhero on my upper lashes and my um, It Cosmetics Tightline Mascara on my lower lashes. For concealer today, I'm going to use my Voodoo Makeup 10 Years Younger and then a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. Now to set my face, for the middle of my face, I'm going to use my NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation. I wear it in light to Mont Blanc, and I'm going to use my e.l.f. What is this? What is this? A small tapered brush. Small tapered brush for that. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation in Fair. And my Real Techniques blush brush to apply that. Now to give a little shape back to my face, I'm going to use this Merle Norman Contour and Highlight Duo. I'm going to use the um, contouring side with my Sedona Lace FB05 brush and just apply that to the hollows of my cheeks. Couldn't think of what I was trying to say. And then up on my forehead and a little bit on my neck. blush today I'm going to use this Merle Norman Lasting Cheek Color in Wild Ginger and I'm going to apply that with my MAC something. It's an angled brush. Clearly I need to wash it. I love the one from their winter collection. It's kind of like a pinky mauve. Love it. But it just didn't go with this look as well. So I grabbed this one which I also really love. 
Their blushes blend really well. They're just easy to work with. Like they don't stick, they just blend really easily. So I really, really like their blushes. For highlighter today, I'm gonna to use my Makeup Geek Duochrome Highlighter in Electrify. It's a really pretty kind of like yellowy highlight, but then it also has a little bit of like a turquoisey blue flashing to it. So I think it'll be really cool with this eye look. So I'm gonna use my Delium Tools 944 to apply it to my face. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes with my Sigma Pencil E30 brush. For lips today, I'm going to apply my Jordana Easy Liner for lips in Tawny, like I always do. And then I'm going to use this lip color from Revlon. This is the Ultra HD Gel Lip Color, and this is in HD Desert. Alright guys, so that wraps up this look. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving grabbing for lately. What have you been pulling out of your makeup collection and really enjoying? I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!